Hi there, YouTube. It is I, the one, the only, Nadia Exotica. Have you have I shown you guys this new gas station lighter that I, I'm just so weirdly fixated on gas station lighters. For what reason, I don't know, but this is my newest to add to the collection, my newest addition. And I have incense here. Oops. And we're gonna light it up. And it's gonna smell wonderful. <laughs> okay, so this video is long overdue. I wanted to give a different perception to what I normally talk about. Or at least kind of speak on the opposite side of the coin. Because normally it's always like, okay, webcam models, beware of scammers. And like, you know, same with escorting like be careful if the clients being a scammer but there's obviously been plenty of cases of the service providers being the scammers that happens if i had a dollar also this smells gorge did i already say it's lotus it's called lotus by him um amazing um but if i had a dollar for every time someone came to me and said they were scammed by either a webcam model or a escort i'd be rich truthfully um it happens there's ways to navigate scammers on that side of the coin as well um as a matter of fact recently i had someone come to me and be like they they would always say all these nice things and it's fine like i i don't expect anything from anyone but they were mentioning something about buying something off my wish list and all these things and buying certain something or whatever like you know um paying for some of my services they would always gas me up and talk about it and then this recent time they came to me and said that they were scammed out of like $75 for the same service that I offer and they were scammed. So I'm like, it's a lot of the times too, it's not just people who've purchased services from me. It's also people who've never. And then they're like, yeah, you know, this person took my money. They didn't provide any services or anything like that. Um, but I have had a lot of clients who did eventually follow through with me or did follow through with me and were pleasantly surprised that I'm not full of shit and you get your money's worth with me. But let's talk about the different ways that a cam model or an escort can scam. Obviously, I'm not trying to put ideas in anyone's head. Like, I feel like you should absolutely be making sure that your service or whatever you're offering has been fulfilled to the person. Um, but... People have told me that they've um, pre-ordered pictures or like custom sets that people would talk about on their uh, Instagram, their social media, their Twitters, or even the cam sites and the sets or the pictures never came. Um, or OnlyFans is a big one where they're like, they thought that it was going to be full nudity and it was nothing of the sort. Or um, that they would tip on the active like live stream for a specific something like they would say oh can you do this or do that and it would be a substantial amount of tokens or money or whatever and they wouldn't do it or there's some sites where they have a fan club and it's kind of relatively the same thing as the only fans like there's nothing in the fan club there's no perks there's no content for viewing or anything like that um and so that's another way video call is like the biggest one is where they're selling um video chats and they don't follow through with it it's like they don't call they don't do anything there's they cut off communication entirely and some people pay a lot of money for video calls um but that's like the biggest one and then of course with escorts i've even talked about this before i'd seen a video of an escort just kind of taking off with this man's money it was an older man and she like shoved him it was like awful um, and of course I don't know the backstory behind it but she had money in her hand and shoved him and closed her door and zoomed off. I've also seen comments on people's Instagrams that were like their escorts, their high-end escorts and the comments are like please don't purchase anything from her or hire her. She's a scammer. You know there's just a lot of different scenarios but how to kind of navigate whether or not someone is a scammer you need to see if people are posting any sort of feedback you need to see obviously people have reddits right there's different reddit forums where people will talk about services that they've been 
provided that they purchased with different kind of cam models, different names. You need to kind of scope out whether or not they have an online presence because I feel like they have a reputation to uphold. That's kind of how I pitch it like whenever anyone's kind of nervous I'm like I don't want people saying that I'm scamming people so of course I'm gonna follow through with this um like you have a reputation to uphold you have kind of um certain merits or whatever or whatever you want to say to you got to make sure that the feedback continues to be good right so why would I take your money and not provide a service um I wouldn't want that like through and through um but the other thing is too like people will um, oftentimes, especially even with sites where you're not seeing any sort of videos and it's just like hotline stuff maybe or pre-recorded stuff, um, they will expect that the person's not, they, they would expect that the person is who they say they are and then turns out they're like a catfish or it's someone completely different using someone else's photos. So you've got to be careful of that as well. I feel like in live streams, it's important that you, if you are talking or tipping, that they verbally say your name, right? And um, that way you know it's not pre-recorded. It's not someone catfishing. It's also important that not only is there follow through, but that there's a clear um, understanding of what's going to be provided. If something happens, nine times out of 10, I'm sure you could get a refund, but apps like Cash App, it's meant to be person to person, right? It's meant to be, it's as if cash is leaving your hands into the other person. So it's much more difficult to trace back or get a refund on certain things or whatever have you. Um, but just more importantly, the biggest thing I can say is to make sure that this person, whomever is who they say they are number one but number two that they kind of have a good reputation they have a reputation to uphold um so they wouldn't want that right associated with their name i suppose you could say that like using your intuition works with that side of the service as well right like it's not only for the cam models to navigate the clients but the clients to navigate the models and just use your intuition there's just been so many i can't even tell you um people who either have been a client of mine and they were nervous at first or have never purchased a damn thing from me and allow other people to scam them when it's like you know you obviously you would have got your money's worth with me sweetheart <laughs> but again i try not to take it personally but it's just kind of upsetting that there are people out there giving cam models or or whomever adult service providers a bad name um, but that comes with the territory, obviously, when when you combine fast money with sex, it is obviously there. It leaves areas for um, scammers and malicious people and very ill intended people um, to kind of slither through and take advantage. So you just need to be careful. OK, scope people out correctly, um, kind of get a feel for someone and just see what other people are saying about them as well, okay? And whether it was satisfactory or not, right? I always have this like ground, these ground rules that I have drafted up and you know, make sure that they know what they're getting into, what they can expect and the time limit on things and all that. Like there's always kind of prerequisites. So use your intuition, my dears, okay? Don't get scammed. That's bullshit, <laughs> bullshit. Anyways, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or video requests, feel free to email me. My email is NadiaExotica at gmail.com. Follow all my links at NadiaExotica.com. And also don't forget to read my blog, which is NadiasCurioTrove.com. So until the next video, you will be hearing from me very, very soon.